The IMDO is Ireland's dedicated marketing, promotional, development agency for the marine industry. The government has recognised the opportunity that exists in Ireland's marine industry and the ambition to expand the industry is contained in a policy document called Harnessing Our Ocean Wealth and roughly 0.8% of Ireland's GDP is generated from the marine. That compares with about 2.4% which is the average internationally and bear in mind Ireland is a maritime nation with a heavy dependence on these things. We really ought to be a lot better. So in Harnessing Our Ocean Wealth, we've set out Ireland's competitive advantages across a number of different sectors. There are 13 different industry sectors identified. And as it turns out, Ireland has opportunities in all of those 13 sectors. In the area of marine renewable energy, for example, we have magnificent natural resources in terms of wind, wave and tidal energy. We have opportunities in aquaculture and aspirations to emulate the success of countries like Scotland and Norway in terms of our generation of food from the sea. Ireland has magnificent natural marine resources. We have a young, talented, educated workforce. We have supportive and strong government policies in the area of the marine. We have magnificent world-class infrastructure to support industry and business in this country. And now we have a real desire to do better in the marine area. Taken together, this makes Ireland one of the best locations in the world to do marine business. IDA has been involved with the overseas foreign direct investment agenda for Ireland for many years now and has been very successful in terms of attracting overseas mobile investments into Ireland. These have included some of the leading technology companies in the world. So examples of that might include Intel or IBM or Google. Companies like that are all now very active in the marine space. So we have a lot that we can bring to the party in terms of that convergence between the marine industry traditionally and the digital industry. So we see that um, from an Irish perspective, this is in particular is a niche area that we can focus on and hope to build industry segments around into the future. When you see some of the research centres like the Beaufort and the Mary and indeed the work that the Marine Institute itself are doing, we are very advanced in terms of some of the activities that we're involved with. If you use the example of the mapping of the seafloor between here and the North American coastline, Irish researchers have taken the lead in that regard. So we've got the wherewithal, we have the technologies to do it and we know how to do it and that's creating an engagement level with corporates who are beginning to uh, sit up and take uh, notice of what is happening here. TechWorks Marine were founded in 2002 by my colleague Phil Trickett and myself. We've always been based in Dublin. We started off on the East Wall Road developing real-time water quality monitoring systems, so real-time data boys. We collect data basically from the sea surface to the seabed so we measure the ocean for clients. We provide clients with information on what's going on in the ocean right here, right now, which affects their operations at sea. The majority of the types of information we're requested from clients are linked around the water quality information, currents, waves. We also collect meteorological data, and it's about enabling our client to have high quality, secure data. So the technology has to be robust, the sensors have to be reliable, so we rely heavily on choosing the best equipment that's around, making the best integration for each particular client. All our data boys are managed through a software called Coastai. So this is the satellite side of Coastai. We're looking at thermal plumes here in Dublin Bay. And as you can see here, we can see the thermal plume from Ring's End. It's about 2, 2.4 degrees warmer than ambient waters. I, I often refer to giving people a Google view of the world. We have a broad range of clients, Irish Water, the Marine Institute, various universities. Private clients include engineering houses such as RPS, such as Jacobs. And then we have international clients. We have a charity that we're working with in Jamaica, monitoring fish underwater. We also have a boy network so in Sweden and Norway. We've got clients in France. We've been in business now 15 years. 
Ireland is a good place because we are trying to sell robust, reliable data solutions and therefore if the equipment works here, we can export it to anywhere in the world. And that's really one of our big positives in Ireland. We have one of the harshest test sites for all marine activity. That's what will ultimately make our strength.